Hello, welcome to Boys Town. It's a beautiful sunny day here in the village of Boys Town. The trees are changing. The kids are getting ready for their art show on Halloween, so it's an exciting time here at Boys Town, especially this week, because this is History Week, where you're learning all about the history of Boys Town. Our 105 years we've existed here. And today we're gonna have a trivia quiz, and we got three Boys Town experts here to help us answer our questions. We have Mike, we have Joanna, and we have our Boys Town Mayor. Would you like to introduce yourself? Hey, Don. My name is Colby Johnson. And the Boys Town Mayor. Thank you very much, Your Honor, for joining us today. And mm -hmm. I'm going to be asking some questions, and they're going to buzz in, and then we'll see how these experts do answering these questions of Boys Town. And then we have uh, John. Oh. Would you like to introduce Hi. yourself to John Rice uh, with HR? And Mike Buckley, the Boys Town photographer. Excellent. And I think if our contestants are ready, we'll begin our quiz. Oh, yeah. Where was Father Flanagan born? Oh, I'd say that's Jonna. It's the buzzer. It's the buzzer. <laughs> he was born in Ireland. That is correct. What is the name of Father Flanagan's hometown? That was Mike. Valley Mo. Valley Mo is correct. A little Ooh. tiny village in County Galway. How old was Father Flanagan when he emigrated to America? 18. He was 18 years old when he landed at Ellis Island with his brother and sister and he came to America. What were the names of the shelters Father Flanagan opened for homeless men in the city of Omaha? He had three of them. Working Men's Warehouse. Working Men's Hotel, you are correct. Yes, that is correct. Yes, that is very good. Yes. Okay, it's all there. What was the name of the island Father Flanagan landed on? Ellis Island. Ellis Island is correct. Yeah, Father Flanagan arrived at Ellis Island in 1904. <laughs> <laughs> on what date did Father Flanagan open Boys Town? December 12th. December 12th. What year? Oh, a year? Yes. Oh, it would be 1917. Ah, that's correct. Yes, yeah, December 12th, 1917. Were all boys welcome in regards to race religion? What? <laughs> Were all boys welcome? So regards race yes religion? or no, right? Yes. yes. Yes, they were, yes. Father Flying and Open Boys Town to all children regards to race religion from the very beginning. <laughs> Who were the first employees to work for Father Flying? Were they uh, uh, volunteers from the city of Omaha? Were they two sisters in Notre Dame? Two sisters in Notre Dame. You are correct, Mr. Mayor, yes. The poor sisters came. They only lasted about six weeks. They were overwhelmed taking care of the boys, and then they left. And then Father Flanagan depended on volunteers until he moved to our permanent location. What was the name of the second building Father Flanagan rented in the city of Omaha when he left the first home? It's down on 13th Street. German the German American home is where Father Flanagan moved to, yes, in about 1918. He loved that property. What was the name of the pet dog Father Flanagan? <laughs> a pet dog? <laughs> the pet dog, our first pet at Boys Town. He, Father Flanagan gave it to the boys in 1918. Was it Bruno? Was it uh, Spanky? Or was it Carlo? Carlo. Ah, <laughs> you both got it right. Yes, Carlo. Father Flanagan got him and he carried him in his, he put him in his jacket and he got on a streetcar and was going through the streetcar in Omaha at Christmas time and they kicked him off the streetcar because they said you can't have animals. So he got off the streetcar and carried the puppy for over a mile to the German American home for the boys and that was her Christmas present. Was Boys Town ever a part of any religious community? No. Boys Town has been an independent children's home since our founding in 1917. What was the name of the farm Father Flanagan bought? Overlook Farm. The Overlook Farm in 1921. He moved to our current location. Wow. And uh, right now we're going to take pause our quiz just to score do a little, update. Just to do a little in a. Jonna, Jonna has four. Colby has three, and Mike has five. Has five. Woo! It's a very very Not close game. <laughs> very close game. Now we're going to ask our contestants just a little question. We'll take a little break from our quiz here. Could you tell us why the Boys Town is important to you? Why um, it's important? Important to me or important to well, I think to yourself Boys, or the world? I think world? Boys Town's an, uh, an important place. Um, I grew up with a uh, aunt that was a juvenile judge, and Boys Town was always a big part of her life, and I wanted to make it a big part of my life when I grew up. Excellent. 
Excellent. Um, so Boys Town's important to me because I think that, um, I guess, um, it's the work that we do, and if I'm gonna take so much time away from my family for a, a, a job um, and a career, then I want to be someplace where um, we do something bigger than ourselves. And Boys Town does that, so that's why it's important to me. Boys Town is important to me because it got me out of a city of chaos and brought me to a town of opportunities. Excellent. Thank you very much. Miss Boys Town is a very special place. And I'm glad you're able to hear about our history today and understand why we're important, just not to the local community of Omaha, but across the United States, if not around the world, with our programming, which is helping children, saving children and, and families all across America every year. We're going to return to our quiz now because I think our contestants are ready. Are you ready for a round two? Okay, excellent. In the 1930s, Boys Town became part of the Marvel Comic Universe. What was the name of the superhero featured in the comic book? Captain Marvel. It was Captain Marvel. They did a whole comic book about a boy coming out to the village of Boys Town. And if you come to the Hall of History, we have it on display in the museum. What game did the boys love to play? Boom! Marbles. And if you come to the Hall of History, you will see <laughs> yes. a knife. We have marbles on display here. In fact, we have our marble display, and they're doing some road work right next to the Hall of History just a few years ago. And as they dug up the road here, they were actually finding marbles. And these were marbles from 80, 90 years ago the boys had played with. They're still in the, in the dirt here at Boys Town. Who portrayed Father Flanagan in the movie Boys Town? Spencer Tracy. Spencer Tracy. Spencer Tracy is an outstanding actor, very close friend to Boys Town. What award did Spencer Tracy give Father Flanagan in 1939? His Oscar. His Oscar for Best Actor. And that Oscar is on display here in the Hall of History. You're able to stop by and see it. It's very warm because he gave it to Father Flanagan and people rub it for good luck. They rub the gold right off the Oscar. What is the name of the bus the Boys Town teams used in the 1950s? And where is it? It's right there. <laughs> You're sitting right in front of the Flex bus. It's so one of our largest artifacts we have here at Boys Town. And it's very treasured by our former boys and girls. Even our current boys and girls love to come and sit on the bus and drive the bus. So it's a very special artifact. What year did girls become part of Boys Town? 1979? That is correct. Whoa. Girls, <laughs> that Whoa. was a good one. I did not get that wrong. <laughs> Girls have been part of Boys Town now for almost 40 years, and it's amazing to see our girls now. They come back with their children. Some almost have uh, grandchildren now, too, and they bring them back to the village of Boys Town, and they can see where they grew up. So it's exciting when our girls come back to see the village of Boys Town. In 1976, this nun received the Father Flanagan Award for Service to Youth. Yes, St. Teresa of Calcutta came to receive the Father Flying Award in 1976, and she toured the entire village of Boys Town. And what year did the Boys Town Family Home Program begin? Mr. Mayor? This, it was the 70s. 1971? 1975. That's correct. Yes. Congratulations. That's a good one. <laughs> what is the name of the Boys Town sports team? The Cowboys. The Cowboys, yes. And we have been the Cowboys since the 1940s because we had one of our coaches and he liked the, uh, the term Cowboys. So that's why we've been the Cowboys for many, many years. What do the blue and white colors of Boys Town represent? Because our official colors for Boys Town are blue and white. And those were selected by Father Flanagan. They, do with the, they deal with the saint. And because uh, he, he picked the saint to be the founders for Boys Town. Uh, could it be the Immaculate Conception? That's it. You're correct. <laughs> yes, it is. That Father Flanagan, as a little boy, was very, very ill. And one day he prayed to the Virgin Mary at his house in Ireland in the cottage. And, and he was healed. And from then he dedicated Boys Town to the Immaculate Conception of the Virgin Mary. That's why our colors are blue and white. Are we giving John that point? Yes. <laughs> okay, yes. All right. Yes, we are. So they wait for all the selections, but... <laughs> <laughs> I recognized it, so I don't want to not take it. Here's an opportunity. <laughs> Is the village of Boystown open for visitors year-round? Yes. 
Yes, it is. Yes, we have thousands of visitors to come from all over the United States, all over the world to visit Boys Town. Many of them are donors, and we love to see our donors come and see how their donation has been used over the years to, to uh, keep Boys Town open and operating. Should we get a score update? We only have a few more questions. Yep, so Colby um, and Mike are tied at seven, and Jonna has nine. Whoa! Whoa. How many children have lived at Boys Town since 1970? Over 40,000. Over 40,000 children have physically lived at Boys Town. Our programs every year touch lives of millions of children. But physically living with us in the village, we've had around 40,000 children to live with us here. Uh, on campus, what is the name of our Catholic chapel? Dow Chapel. You just don't even know. <laughs> it is. It's Dow Chapel. It was named for Miss Marie Dow. She saw the movie Boys Town said I want to make a donation to Boys Town, so she gave money to create the Dow Boys Town uh, Catholic Chapel, Dow Chapel. In what country did Father Flanagan pass away in 1948? Germany. Yes, Father Flanagan was in Berlin, Germany. He was on a mission for President Truman, working with war, or, war orphans, and that's when he passed away. It, in Father Flanagan's tomb, uh, what, does, what does the top of his tomb say? There's a quote, and it's a quote that was placed there. Is it, son of Ireland? Lover of man in Christ, or benefactor of children of the world? Benefactor of children of the world. Um, son of Ireland. Dang. Yes, it is. It's lover of Christ and man. Yes. Well, uh, we were just happy. Yeah. We were all just as, we were just, <laughs> just as lucky. I had a 50 50 shot. Dang it. Definitely. <laughs> In 1968, our Boys Town Choir did an international tour. They went to an Asian country. Japan. They went to Japan. Yes, they did. Uh, they was they were treated as rock stars. They had people chasing after the buses. The boys came back, said it was the greatest experience of their life was traveling to Japan. Our Boys Town uh, farm used to have livestock shows here every year for our livestock. And what were the name of those shows? 4-H. No, were, were it the Boys Town Royal Livestock Show? Was it the Boys Town Community uh, Events? Or was it the Boys Town Livestock Shows for the United States? The first one was the Boys Town Royal Livestock Show. Boys Town That's Royal it. Livestock. Colby got correct. That's right. <laughs> that was a good question. Definitely, yes. That was a good one. Our Boys Town Police Department was officially formed. In what year? 1973? 1964? Or 1943? 1964. 43. 73. 73. Was our official voice count? <laughs> it was officially because we had. Trying to read it over here. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the 1921, Father Flanagan began road shows and they traveled across the United States. What did they travel in when they went on these road shows across the state of Nebraska? Hey, um, Carts, like a wagon. <laughs> horse-drawn wagon. There were three horse-drawn wagons when they traveled across the state of Nebraska to put on their shows. <laughs> <laughs> what was the record of our Boys Town football team this year? Oh, we got it. <laughs> Very excitedly. Yes. yes. We'll, we'll do better next year. Yes. <laughs> what is the name of the brand Father Flanagan selected in 1943 for Boys Town? It was our new symbol of Boys Town. It was either called uh, The Work Continues, The Two Brothers, or Hope to the Future. The two brothers in 1943 became our official brand for Boys Town. His father Flanagan saw the image in the magazine and said, I want that to be the brand for Boys Town because it reminded them of a true story of a little boy who was here. And do you happen to know the name of that little boy who they had his name for? This little boy came to us in 1921. He had polio and his mom didn't want him. And he lived here on campus. Uh, was it... Uh, <laughs> it was it was uh, Ed Jackson. Was it Howard Loomis? Howard Loomis. That's correct. Colby got it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh... yeah, Harold Loomis. Harold Loomis. Howard. Yes. Howard. And Howard lived here at Boys Town. The other boys would carry him around on their backs. And the photograph was taken in 1920. And then when Father Flanagan needed a new brand for Boys Town, that's what he selected to be his new brand. 
for in 1992, we had our 75th anniversary, and we had a special piece of artwork created. It's a little crystal item, and it was presented to us by a gentleman who worked, uh, his family was from Russia, and they created something called Fabergé. What was kind of Fabergé were those? Fabergé egg. It's a Fabergé egg, yes. Mr. Uh, Theo Sap Fabergé from, descendant of Fabergés from Russia, created us a special brotherhood egg that we have on display here at Boys Town. And what's our count right now? So Jonna has 11, and Colby and Mike are tied at 12. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Should we have one more question? I oh, think we should. Okay. So if Jonna gets it right, then we'll have to have two more. This, this, right. this group of ladies came together back in 1918 to help Father Flanagan. It was founded by his mother. Mother's coping, though. Mother's coping. Uh, it's the Mother's Guild. Well, I said it. <laughs> the Mother's Guild still operates today at the Village of Boys Town. They come once a month. They have sewing bills, bees, and they still make quilts for the children, Christmas socks, and other special projects for our hospital. And we're very lucky those ladies volunteer to do that time here. Well, I'd like to thank everyone for joining us today. I'd like to thank our contestants. Who was our ultimate winner? Mike. 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 The winner. What was our final scores for everyone? Donna at 11, Colby at 12, and Mike at uh, 13. Excellent. Those are excellent scores. Thank you very much for coming today and participating. And I hope you can come back and visit the Hall of History soon. We're open to the public seven days a week, and you're more than welcome to come and visit. And if you want to learn how you can help with Father Flanagan's work, go to boystown.org to learn how you can be a supporter of Boystown and his work here in the village of Boystown today. Thank you very much for joining us today, and I hope to see you soon at Boystown.